Budweiser can with like an old, what's it called? Tab top or something. That's pretty old. Who knows what you'll see on the river. Too many more of those. <laughs> it's one of the reasons why I rarely do this upper section of the Kentuckuk. Because there's always at least one tree across the river. Hopefully that's the one. one maybe I should have gone that way <laughs> maybe river right would have been the direction to go I was in a get to know you meeting at work about two weeks ago of course it was on zoom right and uh, one of the prompts was, what would be a perfect day? And immediately I thought, a oh, perfect day would be paddling downstream, getting to the end and hopping on my bike and biking back up to the car. And uh, so I thought I'd give it a try today. I'm in the Kentucky River. I put in in Peterborough at the Route 202, 136 overpass. I place my bike down at the covered bridge in Greenfield. And I'm doing the, uh, it's like a five to seven mile paddle down. And then I'm gonna ride back. It's really a great way to spend an afternoon. And it's all right in my backyard. I love it, that's the best part of it.
even though this flows right along the side of Route 202, U.S. Route 202, I mean, it is just quiet. That's one of the beautiful things about taking rivers. I mean, they're, they're close to civilization, of course, right? Because civilization was, was built next to all these rivers. But man, once you get on them, I mean, it's just quiet. It's like you're in the middle of nowhere. I could be up in northern Canada. ahead you can kind of see the water coming together into an arrow or a tongue. It's generally where the deep water is because the shallow stuff is flowing off the sides to the left and the right and they come together in that arrow. So follow the arrow. Oh my god this is awesome! Paddle ended up being about seven and a half miles, a little longer than I thought. Up at the top there, when I went left, I had to go over those log falls and the, the beaver dam. I caught up to some kayaker, kayakers later on, and they said, oh yeah, if you'd gone river right, you would have been fine. So as I suspected, that would have been good. 
So I've uh, <laughs> put my bike lock on the on the canoe, um, packed up uh, anything valuable, put it in a backpack, throw that on my back. And I think I'll take the rail trail, which pretty much hugs the, the river the whole way back. Get back into the car, drive back up here, pick up the canoe, and I think it'll have been a good day. I just was. This is where those beavers were slapping the water. I love it. Oh, that was a great adventure. Man, I got to paddle downstream. It's always nice when you get to just paddle downstream and bike back. So yeah, if you like what you see, Subscribe to my channel, press the like button, helps out quite a bit. I'm trying to get up to a thousand subscribers, anything you can do to help, if you share this with your friends, with your family, that would be awesome. Hoping to do a lot more cool New England adventures like this in the coming weeks. Cheers everyone.